got here fast, Yagamishi. Says the guy who makes bugs in ten minutes. <laughs> well, I can't refuse a compliment. Here you go. They're designed to blend into a power outlet, so just plug it in. Oh, and the signal range is 100 meters. It'll even go through metal plates or other obstacles, meaning you can listen from, say, the roof of a building? That's perfect. I think this is gonna work. You can turn them off remotely, too. So you don't have to listen constantly if you don't want to. And I have to say, even a great detective like you would have trouble finding these, Yagamishi. <laughs> I'm not sure that's entirely true, but thanks anyway. You're a lifesaver, Tsukumo. <laughs> You're very welcome. Stay down. Hey, just stopping by for a bit. More like I got dragged here against my will. You get the bugs, Chuck? Sure did. Good. Take a seat. So, you want to tap the Matsugane office? Kaito-san told you, huh? Yep. Now explain what you told me, Sugiyoro-kun. Well, uh... It's impossible. No way I can sneak in. They've literally got guys on watch, man. The cameras had seen me going in and out, too. And think about what had happened if I got caught. They'd beat me to death. Guess we're screwed. This isn't a joke, Kaito-san. What are we gonna do? All right, all right, chill. I thought up something else. If Sugiura doesn't want to sneak in, we'll just find you a disguise. Huh? Just hear me out. You know this guy, Talk? Who's that? Guy's got a killer jacket. One of the Matsugane goons, yeah? Yep. Name's Tashiro-kun. The snazziest fucking Yakuza in town. Guy never takes his shades off, even at night. You know, his height and build are awful close. You better not be thinking what I think you're thinking. If Tashiro-kun was wearing a face mask, nobody'd know he was actually a different person. They wouldn't have a clue. Good idea. So what? You want me to dress up like Tashiro-kun and infiltrate the Matsugane office? Bingo. First things first, we gotta find him and grab his clothes and shades. The rest will be simple. Just walk in there and plant the bugs. Oh, and here I thought I was gonna be able to sit this part out. It's all in your capable hands now. I gotta say, Kaito-san, you really thought this through. You know, before today, 
I always thought I was going to end up back in the family somehow. What's that? But there's no way. Not now that I defied the boss. Guess there's no turning back, though. Might as well see this through to the end. Gotcha. Now let's go get Tashiro Kun's clothes. Let's roll, talk. Kaito-san. Sup? Do you, uh, have any idea where Tashiro Kun is? Let me think. Last I heard, he was working at a cabaret. Looking there might be our best bet. Which club? I think it was called Emerald Hills, over on Shichifuku Street. Sounds like we have our next stop then. Let's hit it. Hey, do you have a second? Welcome, sirs. Table for two? Actually, we want to ask you a question. This place is a Matsugane joint, yeah? Um, yes, sir. Why do you ask? We're looking for somebody. You know a guy named Tashiro? Tashiro? Flashy jacket, always wears his sunglasses. You gotta know the guy. Oh, him. There you go. I knew you'd know him. Any idea where he is? <laughs> Actually... He was in the club just a second ago. A customer was giving us some trouble, though. So he saw them out. Personally. I'm guessing they didn't go out for drinks. Where did Tashiro take it? Probably toward Tenkaichi Street. He said there's a back alley nobody ever goes in there. <laughs> Smart. If you're gonna beat the crap out of someone, better to do it where nobody's gonna find you. Sometimes I think you kind of miss doing that shit. Anyway, let's get moving. Right. Thanks, pal. Oh, of course. Where'd you go? Listen, you old fuck! Didn't you see the sign? You can look, but not touch! <laughs> Please, I never touched anyone! Huh? Bullshit, you didn't! The girls know all about your pervy ass! There he is, Tashiro Kun. You, uh, weren't kidding about how he dresses. I'm actually kind of impressed. Huh? Wait, you're Yagami! Oh, congrats. You recognize the guy your whole family's after. Shut it, asshole! 
Um, I I'm just gonna... Hey! Get the hell back here! Damn it! He got away because of you! Let me guess. You made that up to try and squeeze cash out of the poor bastard. A guy like that wouldn't cop a feel even if your girl wanted him to. Huh? The fuck do you know? Huh. Sounds like you were right on the money. Of course. That's how shit goes around here. It's only fair that we take his clothes, yeah? What do you mean? The hell are you talking about? We'll give them back as soon as we're done. Won't be long, I promise. Fuck off! You got any idea how much these threats cost? Not a one. But you know how dangerous Kamurocho is. Should've expected somebody want to jump you. We won't have to hurt you if you just hand them over. Everything will stay nice and clean, too. It's a win-win. So? Are you stripping or not? What kind of question is that, pretty boy? If you want my clothes, you're gonna have to rip them off! Okay, let's just get this over with, Talk. Yep, don't want anyone walking in on this. Shit, this guy's fucking loaded. His wallet's burst into the goddamn seams. Don't take his money, we're not thieves. Yeah, yeah, I know. Wait, don't clothes count as stealing? Like I said earlier, we're just borrowing them for a bit. If you say so, you're the lawyer. Man, they fit even better than I was expecting. You look good, Doc. That's the last thing I want to hear. Anyway, you better get to the Matsugane office and plant those bugs before our friend wakes up. Speaking of, Kaito-san, think you can take care of him? Huh? What do you mean? We can't leave the guy naked outside this time of year. <laughs> Always a big softy. Sure, I'll handle him. Can't go with you anyway, not looking like regular old Kaito. Thanks. Talk. Don't mess this up. I won't. Hello? <laughs> what in the absolute fuck is this? <laughs> oh, spare me. They're not my clothes. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm okay. See you out front of the Matsugane office. All right, I'll be right over. Sorry for the wait, Sugira. Ugh. Hey, Sugira? Sorry, I think you have the wrong guy. 
God. I just can't help it. God, we don't have time for this. <laughs> I can't help it, man. That's the loudest disguise I've ever seen in my life. Maybe you want to try planting these instead? S sorry, sorry. It's, it's perfect. Honest. Yeah, whatever. Can we get this over with now? Yagami-san, I should be able to get a read on the bugs right after you set them. Just come on out when you're all done. Got it. So, you ready? Yeah, good to go. <laughs> it's really not that funny. Oh! Stylish as ever, Tashiro. Me and you. We gotta hit the club sometime. Hey, Tashiro. All clear at Emerald Hills? Glad you can take care of yourself. We got enough to worry about looking for Yagami. By the way, mind keeping an eye on the office for me? Gonna head to the convenience store and grab a snack. I'll be back in five. Suspicious. Suspicious. Hey, it's Yagami. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Now hurry up and get your ass down here. Got it. What are you doing, Tashiro? You know no going in the boss's room without permission. If anything happened, it'd be on me. The hell are you ignoring me for? Say something, damn it! What the? Yagami! Uh, guess I'm busted, huh? You got balls climbing into the lion's mouth knowing you're just gonna get eaten. Don't let this asshole leave here alive!
You're not getting away that easy. Say your prayers, shithead! Uh, whoa, we have laws against those, you know. Laws? Says the guy who's trespassing! Damn it. How am I gonna get out of this? What the? That'll work. That was a close one, Yagami-san. Did you cut the lights back there? Yep. Heard everything thanks to the bugs. Flipped the breaker at the last second. Thanks, Sugira. You saved my life. Won't be safe for long if we stick around here. Let's get moving. Yeah. We're safe now. What about the bugs? Can you hear what they're saying? Give me a sec. That's all it takes? Yep. Well, everything seems fine. Huh? It sounds like they're making a call already. To the man of the hour himself, Hamura. They're reporting what just went down. Can you tell where he's hiding? One sec. Uh, something about Chohan? Isn't that some kind of dice game? Guess he's at a gambling hall then. But where can you play Chohan? If we want to gamble, all we have to do is ask a gambler. And I think I know just the spot. Oh, you mean the casino? The one under Koibrai? Somebody there has to know where to find Chohan in this town. For sure. Guess in that case. Yeah, I'll handle it from here. Got it. Thanks for the backup, though. Game's gonna be mine. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Not now, dickhead. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? It won't take long, promise. Ah, just, I lost again. See what you did? No, I'm pretty sure you just have awful luck. The shit did you say? Let's take this outside, pal. You're gonna pay!
man. I'm gonna be raking in the cash in no time. <laughs> How should I spend my newfound wealth? Hey, sorry to interrupt. Huh? Uh, it's okay, what's up? Know anywhere around here a guy can play some Chohan? Chohan? I'm sorry, can't say I do. Oh, well, thanks anyway. This is actually my first time here. Good times keep coming though. I'm gonna be rich. Look at the ass on her! Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Hmm? What do you want? Know anywhere around here a guy can play some Chohan? Chohan, huh? Yeah, I think there's a joint in the Champion District. Heard their exclusive is all fuck. You... Actually, know a place? Could you maybe tell me the name? Hmm, I could, sure, but. But what? Check her out. That chick's got the goods, right? Uh, sure. I guess she's got goods. What's your point? I want to have a drink with her. Can you make introductions for me? I have to be your wingman? Good-looking guy like you's got a better chance of sealing the deal, right? I mean, look at me. Oh, I can't believe this. You better tell me if I do this for you. Of course, man! <laughs> Mind if I join you? Please, take a seat. come here often? You bet. There's three things I love in life. Stiff drinks, risky bets, and handsome men. Oh yeah? Just once. I want someone to seduce me like they do in the movies. Uh, okay. Um, can I buy you a drink? Make it a martini. A gambling woman's drink. Let me guess. Vodka martini. Shake it, not stirred. <laughs> right you are. You're a bigger movie buff than I expected. Mind if I buy you one? My friend will probably want to join us too. Oh, you only want to drink? Uh, huh? I just told you I'm in the gambling mood. So, what do you say we spice things up a bit? Here's the deal. I'll drink with you. If you beat me at poker. Okay, it's a deal. Well, uh, wait, you don't have enough chips. I can wait, but don't leave a girl hanging. Uh, whoops, <laughs> be back. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, this should be good.
Seems I won. That's life. You win some, you lose some. Well, what a good sport. You know the game pretty well. Bet you never lose too big, huh? <laughs> There's something of an art to it, isn't there? What a team you and I would make. All right. I'll join you for this drink. Really? Great. Let me grab my friend. Hey, why are you the one having all the fun? She agreed to drink with us after a game. Now go grab some seats. Wait, seriously? <laughs> I owe you for this, man! You're damn right you do. I need to know where I can play Chohan, remember? Oh, yeah. It's in the Champion District. Only shop without a sign, you can't miss it. Bar with no sign. Knock on the shutter three times, and they'll ask you what you want. You respond with the password, can I talk to Moon? Knock three times, then the password. Next, they'll say he says he wants the steak, to which you respond, Chateaubriand, blue. And that's it. Joints underground, but clearly that ain't a problem for you. Thanks. That's a huge help. Now let's get drinking. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to pass. I need to go. You're lost, pal. An ass like that is a once-in-a-lifetime deal. Oh yeah, she likes vodka martinis. Order it shaken, not stirred. The hell's that supposed to mean? Yo. Kaito-san. Sugiura told me you'd be here. So, you find out where Hamura is? Yep. A gambling hall in the Champion District. Really? Where at? Apparently the only store without a sign. They've got the club set up underground. Huh. Fancy. By the way, Talk, what happens when you find Hamura? The first thing I'm gonna do is vent. After everything he's done, he deserves it. If I'm honest, I'd take more joy in seeing him squirm than finding the mole right about now. <laughs> Glad we're on the same page. Let's go. Yo, hold up. Hmm? I don't see a sign anywhere. This where we get in the gambling hall? Can I talk to Moon? He says he wants steak. Pick one for him. Mm. 
Chateaubriand, blue. Thank you for your order. Enjoy your meal. Nice going, Doc. I could go for a steak now. Exactly an easy man to find. Shit. Ozaki. <laughs> Again, huh? Ready, talk? Ah! <laughs> 
done yet? Or do you want me to keep hitting you? Oh, fuck you! You hired the thief that stole the money from the office that day. It was all just a setup, wasn't it, Hamura? What, memories of looting you? But it's all water under the bridge, isn't it? Now that I can do this. What about the mole? Everything he does is under your command, huh? How many people has the mole murdered? All those Kyore guys? Shintani? No way those are the only ones. Shintani, before he got murdered, was so sure the mole wasn't part of some Yakuza war. He wouldn't have said that without information to support it. And so, you had to silence him. Made the mole use Ayabe's gun to hide the trail. Like hell I did. Shintani knew your secret. He knew the mole murders were linked to the ADDC. All this comes right back to 89, doesn't it? Shove it up your ass! Now hands off, or I'm gonna fucking kill you! You seriously never listen, huh? Hamura. The center's director, Kido. Is he the one who's behind all this carnage? Is it Kido? Is that not right? <laughs> Start talking quick, asshole. Not feeling it, huh? Then how about I kill you right here? Kaito san! <laughs> Kido's not our guy. <laughs> And the phone call, when Shintani tried to reach the center. He wasn't trying to talk to Director Kido at all. It does seem we received a phone call from this Shintani-san you speak of. Do you know who he was calling? Dr. Shona. Hashiki too. He was trying to get information out of Shono until someone got to him. So the one I want... It's Shono, huh? Right, Hamura? Hey! Fire! Fire! Guess someone's got it out for us, huh, Talk? Captain! Kaito-san! Like his shithead boys took him out of here. <sighs> Holy hell. I'm just glad we're still alive. <sighs> 